from WFSB, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kara Sundlin. We're following several top stories for you on this Monday afternoon. It all comes down to tonight. UConn men's basketball is playing for the national championship title right here on Channel 3. They're going to take on the San Diego State Aztecs at 920. We'll have live team coverage from Houston starting at 7 p.m. and keep you updated on all things UConn today on air and on the Channel 3 app. Now to East Haddam, we're working to find out if any kids were hurt when a school bus crashed this morning. They say this bus hit, collided with a car on Falls Road just after 8.30 this morning. Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where it is. Injuries have been reported, though police have not revealed if students were on the bus at the time. The crash shut down Route 149 and Great Hillwood Road. Uh, for the investigation. We'll let you know what they find out. In Stonington, a man is under arrest accused of hitting a police sergeant who was directing traffic back in February. David McCracken is charged with assault and driving under the influence after turning himself in on Friday. The Stonington officer was standing in front of his cruiser when he was hit, pushing the car into him. He was then taken to the hospital in Lifestar Medical Helicopter. McCracken is being held on bond and will face court April 14th. Moving on to Shelton now, the parents of high school students who were arrested, accused of allowing minors to drink alcohol at their home, faced a judge. It was brief, and they were given another court date for May. The party led to a fight later on where a teenager was stabbed to death. Clouds increase a bit overnight tonight. A cold front drops south, and with it, we could be tracking some rain showers, mostly across northern Connecticut tomorrow. But really, the trend has actually been to keep a lot of these away from us. We will continue to see a mix of sun and clouds through the afternoon tomorrow, pushing high temperatures into the 60s. By Wednesday, that front drops south, locking us in with clouds. It'll be a chillier day Wednesday overall, uh, with the potential for some showers or sprinkles here or there. And then by Thursday, we do trend back toward warmer, much warmer compared to Wednesday. So temperatures overnight fall back down into the 40 to 45 degree range, mostly cloudy, certainly a milder night. We're back into the 60s for high temperatures on Tuesday, likely stuck in the upper 40s and low to mid 50s Wednesday before we could hit 70 degrees Thursday afternoon.